when you say they they they've been they've, they, they, what they do are shabby uh, they've been not sitting and you know using this term to describe the ministry because you said they didn't come properly before where did they go did they go to the council of state they went before parliament so parliament i don't i don't i don't understand this business of they've smuggled how can the ministry smuggle something before parliament parliament is chaired by a speaker who is a member of the minority so this effort to denigrate the ministry and parliament i don't understand it or you believe that it should come before your committee the foreign affairs committee even if it comes before the foreign affairs committee that committee is chaired by the member of the majority yes and the, and the majority of the members of that committee are members of the majority mm. so i would think that for accountability purposes the subsidiary legislation where the chairman is a member of the minority and the majority of the members on that committee can it's a, it's, a, it's, 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 it's a committee that is also placed to consider these things. But it would eventually come before the entire house. In what form? The committee will make its recommendation. So like they present a report? Yes. Not the laying of an uh, ally? If, if it's laid before parliament, it goes to a committee. Mm. And if the committee doesn't have any objection, mm. the entire parliament will just let it go. Mm. Some of Kujeto's beef, if I understand him, mm. I'm trying to understand, is that it should have come before the Foreign Affairs Committee. It came before us. They yes. brought it. The minister. Before the Foreign Affairs yes. Committee. Yes. And, and then later, who and, took it to subsidiary? And it was not concluded. They were to come back okay. with the financials, Fine. the analysis, Fine, no and all of that. This and, came of and later, who took it to subsidiary committee? Whilst we were waiting for them to come back to yes. us. Yes. Then we heard that they've gone to the subsidiary legislation. The ministry took it to the subsidiary legislation committee. Does the ministry have the leverage to go to the committee they like? Yeah, that's what is the, this is a mandate from the executive. So that's what they did. Sam, Samuel Kujato. Yes, that's what happened. Samuel Kujato. Let's, let's not fight. Does we, are not, we are not fighting. Does the executive mm -hmm. have the leverage to choose some committee that they like in parliament? When, when it comes to allies, they are bringing fees and charges allies. They would be advised where to take it. So that's what they did. No, no. Can the executive say that as for this thing, we are taking it to this committee? That's what happened the in this case. The matters before parliament, I refer to committees by the speaker. This, no, this matter was not referred so, 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 to so, the so, subsidiary just, legislation just, by just the speaker. A minute, just hold on a minute. When it comes to fees and charges, the subsidiary legislation committee is the one that is closed with jurisdiction. Is that yes. so? Yes. Okay, okay. Now, Sami is saying that mm -hmm. the Foreign Affairs Committee came before them yes. mm -hmm. on yes. a lot of issues. Now, this issue of the increment in passports then came up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at the committee level, they asked questions. Mm -hmm. And the promise was that they were going to get back to them yes. on those issues. Mm -hmm. And that the chair, from what he read, yeah. The chairman himself, that yes. was the conclusion yes. mm -hmm. that the ministry was going to come back to them with a justification yeah. for the increase. For the increase, for the increase. Okay. yes. So mm -hmm. it wasn't as if this meeting was specifically for the increase, yeah. yes. it was for, for other all things. kinds of issues. Yes. But the issue of the increase came up yes. mm -hmm. from the ministry itself. Mm -hmm. And then the members asked questions, including yourself. Yeah. And then the decision was that they should come back yeah. with. A justification mm -hmm. and then the committee will take a decision exactly yeah mm -hmm. okay. this is what the chairman said now your point is that this mm -hmm. comeback has mm -hmm. not happened yes mm -hmm. the justification has not happened as far mm -hmm. as the committee is concerned exactly but the increment in fees and charges which is handled by the subsidiary legislation mm -hmm. committee has happened yes they've gone there whether they made a justification or they've gone there yeah the committee has looked at it the committee has presented it to Parliament. Lady Ella. Yes, and then it's gone to. Yes, after twenty-one days, it's yes. matured. Yes. Yes. Meanwhile, so, so, meanwhile, foreign affairs so committee legally, is still waiting. So legally and procedurally, the ministry may not have done wrong because they've gone mm -hmm. through the appropriate channel mm -hmm. for fees and charges. Mm -hmm. But you. your your point is that your committee let's and yourself. Things, yes, let's do things properly. You've been shortchanged and exactly. undermined. Yes, we've been undermined. Okay.
Yes. And, that is, and, and that the is fact the that you are being accused yes. of having sat there yes. in the, the committee where yes. you're Some were saying that we even have so, this secretly and uh, we didn't ask this question that we are asking so, publicly. So, which, which are all so blatant we have, lies. We have established that the ministry did not smuggle anything. They were supposed they, to they, come they, back they, to they, the foreign This, this committee. was supposed, supposed, supposed. I don't understand it. Let supposed me, by who? This is the chairman's ruling on the matter. Do you want to the, hear? The chairman of the committee. Of the Foreign Affairs Committee. Who, who took it to the subsidiary committee? The minister. The minister has the leverage to take a report or a, a business of the ministry to any committee they like. Is that what happens? The executive... When they bring anything to parliament, they decide that as for this matter, we are taking it, we brought appointments. As for this one, we are taking it to the Committee on Labor. No, but Nana, so, I, I, I don't, I don't get, Nana, I don't get it. Because your effort to say that there was, the ministry had smuggled something. Are you telling and me that you... And to some that, committee they like. That is not what happens in parliament. Any reference to a committee is done by the speaker. On the basis of... The and we have, we have established, yes, yes, we have established that the, when it comes to fees and charges, mm -hmm. it is this committee that handles it and okay. it's gone to that committee. Okay. So what's your problem? So, so Nana, are you not worried? <laughs> are you also not worried? <laughs> Nana, I'm so disappointed. Here. There is a committee that has oversight over a ministry. Yeah. The ministry goes before the committee. Mm. The issue of the fees, intention, the fees. The intention mm -hmm. to increase the fees comes up. Mm -hmm. The committee asks for a justification. Mm -hmm. The ministry is unable to provide it at that point. Mm -hmm. The ruling of the, on the matter by the chair, which was not opposed to by the ministry, mm -hmm. was that go come back and finish us with a justification. Mm -hmm. That has not been done. Mm -hmm. However, the um, application for the increment in fees and charges it's been made to parliament, it's gone to the relevant committee, it's mm -hmm. been approved. Mm -hmm. Are you not worried about what has happened at the Foreign Affairs Committee? There is absolutely no worry. Okay. It went before the appropriate committee of parliament. The ministry cannot choose a committee like we have established. It is that committee that is seized mm -hmm. with the responsibility of dealing with fees and charges. Mm -hmm. Not the Foreign Affairs Committee. Mm -hmm. Not the Foreign Affairs Committee. Mm -hmm. And indeed, when they went before, unless you want to say that that committee did a shoddy job. When they went before that committee, didn't they provide justification? I would be surprised if they, you went to that committee with, uh, to approve new fees and charges and they wouldn't ask you for justification. Mm -hmm. So, I don't understand why Samuel Kujeto says that because foreign affairs, it hasn't come to foreign affairs in the nation underhand. Shady, it shabby, and so. it was not concluded. Now, now, if your I'm argument saying, is anything to go second. by, why did the ministry present I, this I, to I, us? I'm, why did they make the proposal to us? And so, when they presented it to you, who took the matter to subsidiary? So, the Proper procedure has been followed. As far as fees and charges are concerned. How has that been followed? As far as fees and charges are concerned. This is your effort to beat the ministry and ascribe bad motives is so sad. Mm. It's unfortunate. You haven't been fair to the ministry. It is your analysis which now, is unfortunate no, no, and, and no, unfair. It is based on <laughs> facts. The committee that is seized with the responsibility. Dealt with it. Your oversight committee. Dealt with your it. oversight committee has ruled on the matter. You don't that, have that 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 come back. You agree. This is the honourable Amprechum speaking. It says can the I ministry is going I, to appear before Parliament can, can on I this issue. Can I finish? And they, I hope that when the time comes, you will give us your support. Okay. That now, is the, you see, the I, ministry's I think, response. One second. Mm. I think with mm. my little this is bad faith. In mm. But on the part of who? The ministry. Because they took it to subsidiary. Yeah, why the rush? If you have nothing to hide, why the rush? No, because it, took it, it says to, to the extent that why they the rush? promise the committee. Yes, that you will come back to us. But if they promise why, 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 why the rush? Back, what stops them from coming back? They will come back. After, but af are, after the fact. The action they took. After the, the airline has matured. After the airline has matured. Can, can I? 
It's not even the ministry that took the action. The ministry cannot, on its own volition, go to subsidize. Can they do that? That's what they did in this instance. No, can they do that? That is what if the record shows. If the matter hasn't been referred. That's what they did. So with your experience in parliament, that's, you are telling that's us. That's what they did. You are asking us to believe that the executive can bring something to parliament and take it to a committee they like. No, How is that possible? No, but the, the job description of every committee is clear cut. Listen. Yes. So if the executive yes. presents something about appointments. Yes. It will be presented to Parliament, but it is for the and Appointments they, Committee. Yes, and if they present something on fees and charges, it will go to the Fees and Charges Committee. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. You may have an interest in it because of your oversight. Yes. But the appropriate committee to deal with fees and charges is, is where it, it went to. So where is the bad faith? Where is all this no, the bad, bad faith, Nana, The issue of bad faith. That's mm -hmm. why when I tried to summarize the thing, what I said was that the ministry would have gone through what is legally the due process mm -hmm. yeah fees and charges it sends to parliament it goes to uh, subsidiary legislation they do it mm -hmm. but to the extent that the ministry itself went to raise it at the oversight committee mm -hmm. they were asked questions about it mm -hmm. They decided that they would come back. Mm. In fact, they went to raise that because they were soliciting the support of the oversight committee. Yeah, yeah. And then the ruling at the committee level was that you come back with a justification. Yes. So that if we, we can then. Not to catch. Yes. The Foreign Affairs Committee does not have the power to approve his sentence. Not, not for approval. No, 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 yes. Nobody has said that. So, so, even when they come to you with justification or whatever, you still don't have the power. So the best thing that, and this is where the, the, the government of the matter is, mm. the best thing in my view mm. that a speaker would have done mm -hmm. was refer the matter to a joint committee. Well, that's not done. So, that's but, not done. I'm but, told that the fees charges is some I'm not saying, plenty. I'm, I'm saying, I'm I'm saying it, so it shouldn't go to foreign affairs. Mm -hmm. But if foreign affairs, because of their oversight, and it's about uh, this thing, the speaker could say on this matter, let, let there be a joint committee. The speaker refers matters to joint committees, adult committees, and so on. But you don't blame the ministry of underhand dealing and shabbiness and all of that when they've gone through the right procedure. So and, the, and, the, and the matter that went to the uh, subsidiary, it's yeah. not the ministry that went to subsidiary. So then if, if, hear, if you hear officials of the ministry, <laughs> Mm -hmm. And members of the majority side on the committee, mm -hmm. on the basis of Okujeto's objection, say that the issue came to committee. The committee secretly approved it. It was unanimously approved. The issue was which committee? Foreign Affairs Committee. Okay. Yeah, that's if what you they hear who, who says so, those that's what they accusations were yeah. that that look what he's saying. He mm -hmm. could have he had the opportunity of raising it. Yes. The issue even came before the committee. The committee secretly approved it and yeah, all that. Yeah. I mean, and then he has this document. No, so the people who are saying so are mistaken because they imagine that the Foreign Affairs Committee is the committee that is seized with the responsibility. That's why when Nukuja Tospo was so bad, you are there. But it's not the Foreign Affairs Committee. Mm. It is the subsidiary legislation. Mm. And, and you see, what is funny about this matter is the subsidiary legislation committee mm. It's a committee chaired by the NDC. Mm. The majority of the members of that committee are NDC. So, if even I am a minister and I want something done for me, I would prefer a committee and I'm a, 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 a committee chaired by the NPP. And the Foreign Affairs Committee is chaired by the NPP. 